In today's video, I'm going to talk about eight side hustles you can do after graduating college that could potentially replace your nine to five job. So these are going to be eight really good side hustle ideas. A lot of them you probably haven't heard of, and I'm also going to give them a money score out of 10 as well. And I'm going to talk about important things like how easy it is to make money versus how much money you can make in the long run. So if you appreciate this type of video, let me know by gently tapping that like button and let's jump into it now. So the first one we're going to talk about is one you've probably seen, and that is owning vending machines. Now, there's a ton of different types of vending machines. You've got candy, of course, there's coffee vending machines, snack vending machines, cold drinks. I've even seen vending machines where you can buy common medical items like chapstick or ibuprofen. Now, according to NerdWallet, refurbished vending machines cost somewhere between one to $3,000 each. And the average vending machine operator earns about $40,000 a year. Now, there are a few problems with businesses like this. And the first one is you're constantly gonna be having to do maintenance, refill them and collect the money. And that actually does take a significant amount of your time and it's pretty tedious. It also can be somewhat difficult to hire this out to somebody else because let's be honest, they might just take the money for themselves. And your profit margins are already thin enough that if you hired somebody full time to do that for you, you wouldn't be making nearly as much. And then the second problem is this is one of those side hustles that's relatively difficult to scale. But with that being said, there are vending machine companies out there that do make quite a bit more money than others. And if you can get lucky and find a great location that has a ton of people who are looking for snacks or soda or something along those lines and there's no vending machines in that location you can make a ton of money from this but with that being said overall the money score is going to be three out of ten next one on the list is going to be a consultant or a coach now when you hear the word consultant you probably think of some fancy person who wears a suit all the time they fly all around the country and they spend some time at different businesses helping them to scale their business up and that is a type of consultant but that's not exactly what I'm talking about here what I mean when I say consultant is you are somebody who has a lot of knowledge in a very niche particular skill set and it's such a valuable skill set that people are willing to pay you for your time and you would be surprised how many different things out there you probably already know that people would be willing to pay you for so of course a tutor would fall under this category of kind of like a coach or a consultant one of my very first side hustles that was really successful back in college was where I tutored people on this thing called the PCAT that's the pharmacy college admissions test and I helped them to get really good scores on the PCAT so that they could get into their ideal pharmacy school. And I was making well over $100 an hour doing this. Another type of consultant that I've seen many times is people who are established in a particular career. So for instance, let's say they are an established accountant. People will pay them to consult with them on how to make a really good resume or how to progress in their career or what really good opportunities are out there for them. And again, oftentimes it's not uncommon for these types of people to get paid hundreds of dollars an hour in order to do this. And it totally makes sense because if you give someone really good advice that causes them to make 10, 20, $30,000 a year more in the next few years, that's definitely going to be worth a couple hundred dollars an hour. So there are a ton of opportunities for consultants and coaches out there in so many different industries, so many different skill sets. And this is a phenomenal opportunity, whether you just want to make a little bit of extra money on the side, or you want to turn it into a full blown business. One of the best ways to find killer business ideas is to just start talking to a ton of people in your industry and you're probably going to notice that a lot of them have the same exact pain points and entrepreneurship is all about problem solving so if you can figure out a way to solve a problem that a ton of different people have you've got yourself a business. So I absolutely love this one. It's great in the short term. You can definitely make money. I mean, you could literally just throw up a gig on Fiverr tomorrow where you just have people pay you for like an hour of your time. Uh, if you're you know, some sort of professional, let's say you're an accountant or a software developer or something along those lines, or if you wanna turn it into a full-blown business in the future, this is great for that as well. I'm gonna give this one a 10 out of 10 money score. Next one on the list is content writing. Now I'm gonna say something here that is very interesting and some people might disagree with me, but I think all good content, whether it's video content, you know, long form YouTube, uh, podcast, short form like TikTok or Instagram Reels, all good content comes from good writing. So almost all YouTubers out there, for instance, write a script. There is a script right in front of me now. Uh, I sort of like read the script and then I start talking. Now on a lot of subjects, I'm such an expert that I don't really need to reference the script all that much. But if you wanna make your content as engaging as possible, you're probably going to write a script. 
And this is something that I have seen. There is not a lot of people who have the specific skill of writing scripts and doing research for YouTube videos. And there are a ton of YouTubers out there that are now making millions, tens of millions, even hundreds of millions of dollars a year. And typically a business, which YouTube is a business, don't be confused, if typically, if a business is making $100 million a year, they are gonna hire a ton of employees. We've seen this with big YouTubers like MKBHD, Linus Tech Tips, Mr. Beast. They are hiring tons of people and they have an entire infrastructure around their YouTube empire. And even with smaller YouTube channels like mine, I am still trying to hire people as well. So if you can get really good at this skill set of writing YouTube scripts specifically, you can get paid a lot of money for it. And it all just comes down to supply and demand. There are a ton of YouTube channels out there that need to hire people who are good script writers, and there aren't that many people out there who have that skill set of being able to write good YouTube scripts. So this is one where honestly, you could probably go in and start making money right away. You could throw up a gig on Fiverr, you could contact some YouTubers, offer to write like one script for free. If they like your script, they'll start paying you after that. You know, something along these lines. Unfortunately, there's not like a job board specifically for writing YouTube scripts. I think there's a lot of them out there for writing content for blogs, but it's not quite the same thing. YouTube scripts are different than blogs. Little bit difficult to scale this you know um, it is kind of a creative type thing it would be very difficult for you to scale this you can only write so many scripts per day but with that being said in terms of being able to make money right now this one is great I'll give it an 8 out of 10 money score next one is going to be digital marketing now this one is great because you can do it as a side hustle you can do it as a freelancer you can get paid to do it or you can open your own business and do digital marketing as a service so digital marketing Marketing is just one of those skill sets that is incredibly valuable, especially if you are good at it. So I kind of do have my finger on the pulse of digital marketing right now. And some of the most valuable skill sets you can learn are SEO, that's search engine optimization. That's where you optimize blogs so that they show up on the home page of Google. Another really valuable skill set is pay-per-click, and that's basically where you get trained to run ads that might run on Google or Facebook, etc. And some really good ones to learn right now specifically are, of course, Google ads. Google ads are always super solid. They've always been really good, um, specifically YouTube ads. So YouTube ads are starting to get incredibly profitable. Another really good one to learn is TikTok ads. And then of course, Facebook is really good to learn. Um, kind of depends on your niche. It's not as good as it used to be, but it's still really good for retargeting. Now, if you do want to get started in digital marketing, there is one course that has gotten more people results than any other course in the entire world. That is the Digital Career Blueprint. It's by my friend Seth. You can check it out. I'll put it down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. He does have a free masterclass, which you can check out. It'll basically help you decide whether it's a good career for you. It'll also tell you about the different career paths you can go down, etc. There have been a ton of people that I've interviewed on the channel that have gotten jobs using Seth's training. So definitely check that out below. Digital marketing gets a 10 out of 10 money score. It is super valuable. Next one on the list is going to be a pet sitter or a house sitter, right? So there's apps out there specifically for pet sitting like Rover. There's also other apps out there where you can just ask people to do random stuff like TaskRabbit. And this can be really good money, right? And it's super easy money as well, especially if you like animals, right? So maybe they hire you for like one hour a day to go walk their dogs and you know refill the food and make sure the water's good or sometimes people will want it where you just watch the entire house while they're gone you take care of the dogs and you get paid daily so there are people that have made full-time businesses from this it is actually relatively lucrative I would say when it comes to making a full-time business it's a little bit saturated it can be a little bit hard for you to scale this one but with that being said not that difficult to get gigs doing this it's also super easy you can do your homework while you're watching people's houses this one gets a 5 out of 10 money score next one on the list is a content creator this one is both becoming a content creator yourself where you maybe start a YouTube channel uh, TikTok channel podcast etc something along those lines or you learn the skills of content creation and you get a job with a content creator you can learn any number of different things like video editing videography how to write blog posts script writing like I talked about before there is an entire industry emerging where there are going to be tons of jobs jobs available for people who have content creation skills, right? So maybe you don't want to become a content creator yourself, but you're really skilled at content creation. You can become an ops manager for a content creator. I am super, super bullish on anything around content creation. This is not going
going away anytime soon. It's only going to get bigger and bigger. Mr. Beast was just offered a billion dollars for his brand. He turned it down. Gary Vee said he shouldn't accept anything less than $10 billion right now. And he wouldn't be surprised if Mr. Beast makes it to $100 billion plus net worth. And I agree with Gary Vee. I would not be surprised if Mr. Beast makes it there as well. People no longer want to buy from big businesses. They want to buy from other people. And so they trust personal brands a lot more than they trust big businesses. So yeah, anything that revolves around content creation, whether it's you know becoming a content creator yourself or learning the skills of content creation and working for a creator, gets a 10 out of 10 money score. Next one on the list is going to be physical labor. This one I have mixed feelings on because this one might be the easiest to make money with. If I was just starting off from square zero, right? I had absolutely nothing, no money in the bank. I'm homeless, I don't have a car or anything. The first thing that I would do is physical labor, right? I would post on Facebook Marketplace, uh, Craigslist, anywhere you can post, and I would tell people, hey, I'll help you you know, move boxes, I'll help you load up your truck if you're trying to move from point A to point B. And I've done this before in the past, and you might be thinking, well, you have to have a truck. No, you can actually rent a truck from U-Haul or any other number of places, and the way you do this is you would take half of the payment up front. And there's all kinds of other random physical labor-related jobs that you can do. I know there's an app called TaskRabbit that's available in some areas, that can be really good for finding gigs. But yeah, there is so many opportunities for you to make money from physical labor. You can also start really profitable businesses from this where you can scale them to you know, 100,000, 200,000, even $300,000 per year. Now it can be relatively difficult for you to scale it past that. And physical labor can be difficult on your body. I probably wouldn't recommend doing it your entire life. But when it comes to just making money right now as fast as possible, Physical labor is probably the way to go. I'm gonna give this one an eight out of 10 money score. Next one on the list is being a referee, umpire, or some sort of sports official. This is one that I saw one of my roommates in college doing all the time, and he'd make really good money from it. So one of my roommates when I was going to pharmacy school played hockey all throughout his childhood and high school. And one way he would make extra money on the weekends is he would referee for hockey games. Now, one thing that's great about this one is if this is something you've already done your entire life, like let's say you played baseball your entire life or soccer your entire life, then you are probably gonna make a pretty good referee. So there's a big barrier to entry. Not everybody can do these things. And it's probably gonna be a lot of fun for you to watch the game since it's a game you played your entire life and you probably enjoy it. So this can be a super easy way for you to make money. Not very scalable, unfortunately. So this one gets a six out of 10 money score. Check this video out right here. I made it just for you. Go ahead, gently tap the like button, hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and comment down below any thoughts, comments, criticisms, et cetera. And I will see you next time.